This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com. This week we saw President Obama deliver his budget to the Congress, and as usual, it was a uh, hernia-producing gigantic document. What we have to understand is the United States is a country that has a, a, an enormous uh, set of governmental programs um, and um, it, layer after layer uh, of, of, of government activity, bureaucracy, commitments, um, and uh, all of those uh, have to be essentially funded. And of course, at this point, the revenue coming into the United States is lower than the expenditures of the federal government. So it's no news to you that we have a very substantial, troubling, and growing budget deficit. President Obama's budget um, addressed some of those issues, but it made only a very small dent in the uh, deficit itself. It has some cuts and some cuts of programs that are very popular with parts of the population. It also has some additional new expenditures on other programs that Obama feels uh, are important and cannot be cut, but in fact may need to be expanded. So what you see is this uh, tremendous challenge to coming up with a budget that uh, accomplishes the beginning of uh, re reducing the, the deficit. With a country that still hasn't recovered from the recession, there's a great deal of concern on the part of economists that if we begin to really seriously cut government spending at this point when the re recovery is, uh, is just beginning and is still pretty fragile, that we will essentially snuff out the embers, uh, the little flames and the little smoke that's coming out uh, that shows that the economy is starting to warm up again. Um, and therefore, a lot of people, including the Obama team, are saying we really need to continue to nur nourish and nurture the recovery right now, even while we keep an eye on the budget deficits because we have to struggle with those. The Republicans in Congress, on the other hand, uh, have said that they want to see immediate and very substantial cuts. They want to see cuts in uh, discretionary programs, programs uh, you know that are not entitlements such as Social Security and Medicare and also no, no cuts on the military. Um, and the problem is that if you cut just discretionary programs, you don't get very far because that is a very small percentage of the federal budget. It is in fact Medicare and it is military spending that are the big uh, gigantic 800 pound gorillas in the budget deficit. I left Social Security off because Social Security is not a very big problem. It is mentioned as a big problem, but it's not a big problem. People out there are working, they're paying their Social Security taxes, those all go into the Social Security Trust Fund and then are paid out at the other end to people who are currently receiving Social Security. Now, what's coming in is now a little bit less than what's going out, so in the long run we do have to fix that. But Social Security is not in crisis. Social Security needs to be tweaked and adjusted and that ought to be done separately and it ought to be done in good faith between the President and Congress uh, to maybe increase the retirement age a little, change eligibility, add um, the, the requirement that uh, people pay Social Security taxes uh, in higher income brackets more than they're currently paying because uh, after a certain level of income they don't pay any taxes on uh, on their income into the Social Security Fund uh, and then it would be fixed. On the other hand Medicare and military spending are substantial Medicare especially and Medicaid the program for the poor are growing in an uncontrolled fashion states are going bankrupt over these payments and it requires a lot of courage to uh, deal with them because a lot of people don't want those touched and the Republicans have said that President Obama has not talked about making really serious cuts in some of those programs. And Obama has said, well, if you join me and we jointly say where we're going to cut, I'm willing to talk about it. But the Republicans want essentially for the president to put his head on the chopping block, cut programs that are very popular with the public, which would lead to probably a 
political disaster in 2012 because people would be angry at President Obama and the Democrats. And Obama has said, I'm not going to do that. I need, I need Republicans to join me and we need to do it together. Can the budget crisis be solved and fixed? I think it can, but not with the politics that we currently have. Uh, currently, the budget is not really a financial and economic entity. It's a political football. And unless we remove that football from the public discussion, from the political discussion, and set it aside where in private, and maybe in secret, the president and the Republicans can negotiate and talk about what they have to do to save this country and this economy from economic disaster, it's not going to happen. Uh, it's not going to happen publicly because the people in Congress want to demagogue it. They need to get elected and re-elected, and one way you do that is you keep shoveling money at your constituents. People out there want the budget balance, but not on their programs. They don't want ethanol uh, subsidies cut. They don't want um, uh, cuts in programs for the oil industry. They don't want cuts in their Social Security. They don't want cuts in Medicare uh, or anything else. And so, unless it is done um, on the in, in a in a more confidential way, and also unless, frankly, there are some new revenues that are generated, I'm not going to call it taxes, but in effect, it could be fees, it could be all kinds of things, in order to bring in more revenue. If you really want those programs to continue, it is going to be a a very very difficult process, and we are going to get deeper into the whole. Um, because I'm afraid that between now and 2012, the 2012 election, um, not much is going to be possible because we are already moving into the hottest part of the political uh, season with people already declaring to run for president on the Republican side. And that is not a good environment to deal with difficult and uh, in some cases painful uh, economic and f fiscal and, and, and monetary decisions. So I am optimistic that we can do it, but it's going to take a great deal of political courage and it's going to take uh, goodwill on the part of both Democrats and Republicans to hold hands as they jump off the cliff together. Um, divided uh, we fall, united we stand is an old saying and I think it's never been more true than now. This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com.